Camden here. Um, sorry, I haven't been posting in a while. Um, I I've been really busy, you know, school and all. I'm just ten. No! No! So, um, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the OG original Giga Chad back rooms like this, and um. It's actually quite easy. I might be going pretty quick. So, uh, pause or slow the video down if you need to. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm going to create a new scene. Uh, now I'm going to click A, A, uh, A, X, delete, shift A, and add in a Q. S, Z, and scale it up by two, and S, shift Z, and choose 10. Now, this texture is in the description. It's what I used for my first backrooms tutorial. And um, it that one wasn't in the uh, description last time. Here's my wall. So I got the wall uh, from Google, you know. And we're going to go Control A, wall selected on the cube, and apply the scale. Now click Tab. Uh, to go into edit mode, U, Q, projection. Now, um, bring this uh, tab over to the right and or the left and, and ch change it to the shader editor. Click N to collapse the side panel. And with Node Wrangler enabled, edit preferences and search up Node Wrangler and have that box checked. Um, we're going to click Control T on our wall. Now, if you have Blender 3.4 installed, this is just a thing to say, um, then your mix RGB to uh, would be weird. Um, it'll be called a mix, and it'll be looking like this, or uh, yellow if you don't have what I have. Um, so change slope to color. That's just a thing. And now I'm going to scale this up by 35. You know what? I'm just going to um, copy the the um, color ramp from this original material. So um, I go into, um, I'm just going to click this color ramp. Control C. Um, you don't have to do this. Control O, BR All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna bring this over and add in that color ramp. Now the color ramp is um the color for this is for the black. You're gonna do 0.4 for the value, 0.6 for the saturation, and 0.15 for the hue. And for the white, it's it's 2 for the value, 0.6 for the saturation, and 0.15 for the hue. That'll make it look like the back rooms, right? Okay, good. Um, so, go into edit mode, click 3 to go into face mode, and click the floor. Now, click the plus button, click new, call it carpet. Now, click assign. This texture will be in the description. Click Control Shift T on your principal, and that'll bring it over to add in all three of the textures with the normal map. And now, basically, what I'm going to do is add in a color ramp, or, you know, I'm just going to open it up from the original. You know, I'm lazy. So. I, um, here, here's my color ramp, uh, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to control V. Now, plug that right here, and if you're wondering what it is, it is, for the black, it's 0 0.2 for the value, 0 0.8 for the saturation, and 0 0.2 for the hue. 
And for the white, it's 0.6 for the value, 0.8 for the saturation, and 0.05 for the hue. I find that giving it the nice backroom's aesthetic look. I'm going to scale up the mapping nodes to about five. I'll make it look like this. And now if you go into the rendered view, I'm going to use cycles, use GPU, and add in a light point. Change the power to 200. Yeah. It looks like the back room's just very bad. So what we're going to do is get the ceiling in here. So this texture is, you guessed it, also in the description. So um, click tab, click the ceiling, add a new material, click assign, and new, we'll call this ceiling. Uh, control shift T, let's use these tiles. Click A and principal texture setup. Uh, we, sh we will uh, delete the displacement because no, I, I don't. I don't like the displacement. It just makes extra render time. And yeah. So I'm gonna bring the normal map and the normal texture down. Now I'm gonna click Control Shift D on the normal and bring it up here into this gap. We're gonna replace this with the emission map that is also in the description. And delete the point and change the valve and change the strength up to 10. We're going to change the color management to medium high contrast and emission strength 8. Mm, 5. Yeah, 5. Now, um, now we can start creating our walls. So what I'm going to do is shift A mesh cube SZ2 and apply the wall material. But you see it's really small. So UV editing and rotate it 90 degrees. Um, no, negative 90, so rotate that 180. Now we're going to control A, scale, U, Q, projection, and it's really small. So S in, in the UV editing, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 works really good. And you don't have to do this. I'm just at making it a thing. Uh, I'm just going to make this smaller. Options, correct face attributes. And... G, G, Y in this face and move it out to 1.8. I'll make this really thin wall. Shift S, wait no. Right click, set origin, geometry to origin. And now go back to edit mode A, S, X, 3. I'll make it this bit chunk wall thing. Control R, make it two thingies by scrolling your mouse wheel up. For you guys who uh, don't know what I'm doing in this video, um, uh, right here I am making um, the blackboards or like the pieces of woods on the bottom of the walls right here. And, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that and uh, let's get back to the video. Now click right click, SX, we're gonna make that 2.6, Control R, make it two thingies, SZ, 
going to make it 0.1 GZ, negative 1.5. Now make this. This is going to be our wall bases. So click this face right here. Now click E, 0 0.05, looks like it. And uh, with this really cool add-on uh, that I have uh, called Blender Kit, I can just search something, search a material. Uh, let's go with wood. And I like this wood right here. So new material, choose the wood. Now click this face, alt, shift, alt, shift, this face. And, and now you selected the wall bases, wood, assign, U, Q, projection, and that'll make it look like this. Now you have a really cool wall base. You can have your own wall uh, wood texture, uh, but I'm leaving Blender Kit in the description, so you can go get that. Now I'm gonna make some walls, so and make sure to add some diversity in the rotation. So I'm gonna do that. Shift D, Shift D to move. The to duplicate all the walls and move them around. R90, RZ90 to, to um, rotate them. And I feel like that, mm, that's good. Now we have some walls. Material, mm. I think I'm going to duplicate all the walls and rotate them. I think I found something that I like. So I'm just going to find a place I like in the render view. I think that's, that's very good. Maybe we can resolution 640. By 480. All right, so now we can start rendering. Uh, change the max samples to 128. Click F12, and now or render render image, and now you have your render. Let's add some. Let's add a glow up. So what we're gonna do is Control Shift click the render layers and plug it into a viewer. Um, shift, right, uh, right click and drag to make this line that makes a reroute node. And now we're gonna add in a, now go to the render layers tab, click denoising data and add in a denoise denoising normal and albedo into their correct thing. Now add in a glare, uh, change medium to high, streaks uh, to two, and control shift D, and move it up, change this to fog glow, add in a mix, and 0.8, mm, change it to add. Mm, mix, and 0.8. I'm gonna change the exposure up to 1.15. And now I am going to add in, mm, maybe I should change up the roughness of the walls. So, is the roughness 0.8? Let's see that. 0.8 looks good. Click F12 to reset. Now we have that. And now, let's add in the VHS effect. So file, append, 
and I have my VHS effect right here. So double click it and shift A group VHS effect. And if we click F12, this will make a VHS effect right here. Change literally every single thing to zero. It looks really weird. Uh, so I'm going to move all of this over and all of this over. And now color streaks to zero, color loss, mm, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. I feel like 0 0.2 is good. Color noise, 0.15. Yeah. Um, now, color blur amount all the way up. Mm, depends. Five? Yeah, five. Depends on your scene. I feel like two is good for me. A uh, Luma blend? What does that do? Oh, yeah, it does that. So, point two. Luma Bleed, let's go for 50. Distort Factor, right, I forgot about that. The Distort Factor should go to three. Three is good, now we have our VHS effect that I like, and now we are done. That is the end of the video. I hope you like it, and that is it.